sheriffs across the state are having a hard time meeting their budgets, and the governor's office has promised to help. Your local news starts now. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Welcome to East Alabama Now Local News from Monday, February 13th, 2023. I'm Mike Stedham. Alabama eliminated the need for most pistol permits at the beginning of this year, and that's been a serious reduction in funding for sheriff's departments that used to rely on those permit fees for a large share of their budgets. Governor Kay Ivey has announced that sheriffs in all 67 counties will be receiving state funds to help them make up that shortfall. The money will be distributed every three months, beginning in the first quarter of 2023. The amount each county receives is based on monies that county sheriff's department collected on pistol permit fees in 2022. Governor Ivey says these grants will provide sheriffs with funding for training, equipment, and other needs that are not provided by county commissions in their annual appropriations. The Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs is making the payments to the sheriff's offices based on reports collected by other state agencies. And the governor's office did not reveal the total amount of money set aside for these grants. If you or your company owns property in downtown Anniston, there's a new grant program that may give you up to $10,000 to make some improvements. The Downtown Anniston Multipurpose Reimbursement Grant Program is available to businesses, nonprofit corporations, and private citizens who own property within the defined boundaries of the Downtown Anniston Historic District and the West 15th Historic District. The grant program is being supervised by Main Street Anniston and the Downtown Development Authority. Under this new program, eligible parties may apply for up to $10,000 in reimbursement funds for a variety of improvement projects such as facade enhancements, interior renovations, fire suppression, historic rehabilitation, and several other specific renovations. Main Street Director Carla Eden has the details for you now. Last year, Main Street Anniston partnered with the Downtown Development Authority in the first round of reimbursement grants. Through these grants, $147,503 were awarded to Main Street businesses and property owners, resulting in 23 completed projects with an investment totaling $352,735. Projects completed include everything from new roofs to complete interior remodels and repairs. This type of preventative maintenance greatly impacts the longevity and beautification of our historic Main Street Anniston structures. We are pleased to announce that the Downtown Development Authority Reimbursement Grant will continue in 2023 and applications are now available. For more information, you can contact the Main Street Director at 256-371-3711 or by email at MainStreetAniston at AnnistonAL.gov. When EAN Local News returns, we'll tell you about an escaped state prisoner who continued to collect good time credits while in the Calhoun County Jail. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. The recently begun early release of hundreds of convicted felons from the Alabama prison system, which we told you about last week, is just the latest example of state officials putting money ahead of safety, says Calhoun County Sheriff Matthew Wade. About a year ago, Wade says, 
His agency was involved with a prisoner who kept building up good time credit, even though he had escaped from a state prison before winding up in the Calhoun County Jail. There was a guy that was in my jail. He actually, he escaped from a Department of Corrections prison. Oxford Police Department gets in a chase with him on I-20. He's got drugs, guns. They have to fight him. They put him in our county jail. He stays in our county jail for 800 days. During that stay, he assaults one of my correctional officers, strangling them. He gets charged with that. Now, while he's in my jail for this, you know, all these charges because he escaped from prison, the Department of Corrections never charged him with escape. They continued to allow him to gain and earn good time, which means for every day he served in my county jail, he was getting 30 days credit. Wade says the Department of Corrections was putting its budget ahead of public safety by not taking the prisoner back to a state facility and making him face those new charges. They did this because they just wanted him to end his sentence in the county jail, which he did. So after 800 and something days, his prison sentence come to an end because he was getting good time after he escaped. He bonded out from here. He went to Chilton County, bonded out from there, and a couple of weeks later, shot and killed a deputy in Bibb County and shot his partner as well. The murder of the deputy and the wounding of his partner caused an outrage in Montgomery, and lawmakers promised at the time they would not let this kind of thing happen again. However, Wade says there are now elect allowing the Department of Corrections to release convicts before they finish their sentences, and he believes they're again putting the public in danger. For metal buildings in Alabama and the Southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. Despite a chilly start, today's proven to be a sunny and mild day for the middle of February. Tomorrow and Wednesday are also looking good right now, but forecasters are keeping their focus on Thursday's threat of more bad weather. The National Weather Service says severe thunderstorms will be possible Thursday and Thursday night across all of central Alabama. Threats will include a few tornadoes, damaging straight-line winds, quarter-sized hail, and localized flooding due to heavy rainfall. Forecasters say they'll have more specific details on the timing and the location of these threats throughout the next few days. Now is a good time to make sure that you have a working weather radio in the house and that you can receive messages from the National Weather Service in case of an emergency. Thank you for watching East Alabama Now Local News. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening bringing you the latest local news from around Calhoun and Cleveland counties. We've also made a new Facebook group called Local News Engagement. If you want to stay in the know with all things local, please go join us. We'd love to have you. And as always, be sure to like us and to share us with all your friends on the social media. We'll see you again Wednesday for your news on your schedule.